guys. Well, what else did you learn from this past Saturday after having a chance to look at the film of the game? Uh, I thought we we uh, we had great resilience uh, throughout that whole thing. Uh, Felt we did some really good things. Harrison uh, really ran well. I thought he was the difference in the football game, quite frankly. And, uh, you know, he and Lane Pryor, uh, their energy, their toughness uh, that they displayed that day, I thought was, was really what stood out the most and what uh, carried the, the day for us. If you could expand on Harrison a little bit, what do you, what do you think that he brought to the team? And, and also on that, how long do you expect Ty to miss, if at all? Yeah, well, I haven't got the word on Ty yet. Uh, as of today, but uh, I tell you what, uh, what Harrison brought to the table is, you know, he really ran hard. He hit the hole at the speed you need to. Uh, then he got the extra yards after contact because of how he ran and really set the the energy uh, uh, to the game with how he ran. So I thought he sparked a lot of things, and then he did it continually throughout the whole game. So that's Harrison, though. Harrison, Harrison came here, and he did that last year in some cleanup roles, but this wasn't a cleanup role. This was in the meat of the game. And uh, for Ty to go down on the second play and then him to come in and do what he did was, uh, you know, a credit to him, but uh, definitely uh, was a huge part, if not the part, that won the game. You mentioned his power back abilities. I think we knew that he could be a powerful runner, but he showed a little breakaway speed with a nice 37-yard run and then a 26-yard touchdown run. He, he wanted to become a complete back. Is, is that how you would describe Harrison? No, that's what that's what. Yeah, it takes time to become a complete back. I mean, you got to display all those things and, uh, and protection as well. But he's doing that. Uh, he was he's always been great protection and, and, and great with the power runs. But uh, he needs to make the cut to make somebody miss to go get the make a five yard into a 15. And that's what he did the other night. That's why the more he matures, the more play he gets. Uh, he showed up and displayed that the other day. They've done they've, they've they've done some good things as far as being behind and, the, and then going out there and after after maybe we've had a lead or, or taken a lead or something like that some adversity has hit and then they come right back and get the points back so I see consistency after uh, you know some things that have gone on throughout the game so from start to finish uh, they're doing a nice job of adjusting and uh, as we go through a game to keep creating uh, you know opportunities to score. I asked you about last year's game against the Indiana, Indiana State, where Stig Morris trotted out the same kind of script where they try to play keep away. You mentioned that on Saturday. Um, are, is there any concern that that might be a playbook that other FBFC teams use moving forward against you guys? Everybody's different. you got to have the right kind of team to do that, and you got to have the right kind of patience to do that. So it was, it was, it was their way of doing things. It was their passing game uh, that kind of – uh, they, they, they built their plan around their players that they recruited. So I don't know if it'll be other MVC teams. It could be. But uh, that's where complimentary football is, is making sure that you get the ball back for your offense. You get them in good field position. And, uh, you know, we did that at times on defense. We kept them under 100 yards rushing, things like that. Uh, we still need to take away some of the explosive plays on defense. But even the defense, I would say, played good. But to our standard, need to play better against the run this week, South Dakota State with an excellent rushing team. I mean, what, what kind of challenge do they present? Oh, they're, they're great. They're a great football team, ha hands down. Uh, there's a reason they're number one, the reason they won last year. I, th I think their offensive line and their, uh, their running back are outstanding. And then their quarterback is, is, is the type of player that really complements everything they're doing because he can throw and run. So even if you get to, to coverage, he can, co he can run. So they've got the quarterback run game. They've got the uh, great running back and actually two good running backs. So, yeah, they've always that's how they've built their team over all the years, and they've always been good at rushing. And they've got a quarterback that complements uh, the great run game that they've always had. Last year you guys played them to a field goal game here in your building. What what do you anticipate the, uh, the matchup this weekend to look like? Uh, who knows how this thing will play out, but uh, we got a. Right now, as, a, as I'm sitting here on a Monday going, what players will we have available this week coming off this last game? And we just got back late because we played the night game. So there's still a lot of things that we're finding out today coming off of not getting back home till 2 or 3 that Sunday morning. So we got to kind of get our feet underneath us today, figure out what the plan is, and then move from there. No questions from the Norsemen? <laughs> no, I'm kidding you. I'm good. I appreciate you.
Anybody else? All right, thanks, guys.